ambassadors of youth and education, Mutia, Hazel, and Montilia. Ambassadors of Peace and Development, Mutia, Daniel, Nicole, Habonero. Ambassadors of Culture, Arts, and Heritage, Mutia Kirsten Cagadas. Ambassadors of Tourism, Mutia Arjun Igai. so hard to say goodbye to my first ever job as an empowered woman. Over the span of 8,784 hours, I've adorned not just a crown on my head, but also in my heart. From my humble beginnings as a student leader, driven by a deep passion to ignite inspiration among the youth, to embracing the essence of being the Mutiahong Butuan, devoted to serving and representing not just one, but all of Butuan. Looking back, my journey has been truly transformative. I am immensely proud to reflect on my reign, a period filled with abundant opportunities to uplift and inspire others. Allow me to offer a glimpse into the endeavors I've undertaken as your mutya. I had the privilege of participating in the 8th, 9th, and 10th Butuan on Wheels caravan, where I engaged with residents in remote barangays across the city. Immersing myself in every city event and celebration, I gained a profound appreciation for our rich tapestry of culture, history, and traditions. Additionally, I had the honor of gracing numerous local barangay pageants and assisting them as they crowned their own mutias. Above all, what truly fills me with joy in this journey is the realization of my advocacy. Through two waves of edu action, we visited Tsunaka iPad and Tudol Elementary Schools, providing students with essential learning materials, kits, and other necessities to inspire their educational journey. It is moments like these that reaffirm the purpose and impact of my endeavors, igniting hope and enthusiasm in the hearts of our youth. Lagit lagi para sa kabataan. However, None of these achievements would have been possible without the invaluable support of the city government of Butuan. Under the leadership of Mayor Ronnie Vicente Lagnada, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Butuan City Tourism with special acknowledgement to Mambanji Dumenese, Sir Richard Villar, Sir Glenn Parsha, Ati Clarice T, and Kuya Albert Puno, who are always present to assist and support us, Mutias. To Butuan City PIO, 
especially Sir Simon Amplayo, Sir Roy Cirano, Sir Brian Yu, Sir Agustin Azarcon, Sir Matt Garcia, Sir Ralph Botero, and Ma'am Michiko De Jesus. Their assistance was instrumental in bringing to life the Mutia Diaries series, through which I had the privilege of sharing my journey with the people of Butuan. When reflecting on how I achieved all these at such a young age, my thoughts turned to the unwavering support, guidance, and belief of those around me. Firstly, I am deeply grateful to God above. My faith in Him sustains me through every challenge, knowing that He walks beside me. To my family, Mami Sally, Daddy Julius, and baby Shania Melihor, you are the guiding lights in my life. To my high school and college friends, supporters, fellow student leaders, my Mutya Hong Butuan sisters, mentors, Mom Kenneth Banluta, Sir Benji P. Jacob for helping me realize my advocacy, for my farewell wardrobe tonight, to the kindest Kuya Clavin Bartolaba, as well as other creative designers here in our city, makeup artists such as Kita Jenny Sagario, Ate Jerome Jimena, Tita Ramona Ventura, and all those I collaborated with during my reign, your influence on my journey is forever unforgettable. But one, as this chapter in my Mutya Diaries comes to an end, let my reign be recalled for the joy it ignited in each step, the peace it bestowed in every sigh, and the love it instilled in every heart. May my reign transcend, serving as guiding light for inspiring dreamers to ascend. A big round of applause to our reigning Mutya Hong Butuan 2023, Shane Keithley Millihor. Festival, may we be reminded that Balanghai sails through history, a vessel of resilience and ingenuity, carrying the dreams and stories of generations past. After being crowned as Mutyahong Butuan, I was told that I didn't deserve the crown, that I was too young, my body was mocked, and I was compared to other girls and was harshly undermined on various social media platforms. Yet just like how the Balangay we stand storm, I too did. Instead of dwelling too much on the storm, I focused on sailing with a purpose, navigating my way into creating meaningful connections. Just like how the Balangay connected islands, I too built inspirational connections and relationships here in our city. Tonight, as I stand before you, I stand as a testament that beauty queens transcend mere moments of extravagance and glamour. We are capable of paving the way for the youth to take up space 
and turn their dreams into a reality. To my successor, may you wear this crown and title with justice just like I did. Don't wait for others to sail your boat. Take initiative to realize your core purpose. We cannot wait for the story you will write. As I pass over my crown to the next queen, I hope that my voyage as your mutya will forever remain in my story and our story. But one! Daghan ka yung salamat sa pag-uban sa akong paglayag. For the last time, 